Member for Burnaby North. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. People often ask me, what do I like best about being an MLA? Well, one favourite of mine is when constituents seek me out to share their great ideas. Sometimes they want to talk about how to save the planet, sometimes they bring ideas for making life more affordable, and sometimes they have ideas for improving our shared experiences in our community. Jack Rowland, who lives in Burnaby North and works in the film industry, is one such visionary. Jack came to talk to me about aquaponics. Now, maybe, like me, before I met Jack, you're not sure what aquap aquaponics is all about. Aquaponics grows fish and plants together in an integrated system in a greenhouse. The fish waste provides an organic food source for the plants, and the plants naturally filter the water for the fish. Jack shared his vision of aquaponic greenhouses in schoolyards throughout the region, sized to feed the student population and their families. And why schoolyards? Because aquaponic greenhouses teach hands-on STEM skills. In fact, I've since done a bit of research myself and discovered that that is exactly what is happening in a number of schools in the United States. It's called Aquaponic STEM Classrooms in Action. Aquaponics is intense. It yields six times more produce than conventional farming and uses 90% less water and no pesticides. A system of aquaponics can feed the community in which it is located and thus contribute massively to local food security and affordability, something we all need to think about as the effects of climate change intensify. There are some projects already in existence, part of which is consultation with the community about which fruits, vegetables and fish they would prefer to consume. There's been an aquaponic project in Mississauga since 2016 that supplies the local food bank. I'm grateful that I have this opportunity to amplify the great ideas that come my way from my constituents. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you.